Exactly half a century of Toyota success. The Japanese car maker's record is impressive. The real breakthrough came in the 70s. 7 times World Rally Champions and 3 times in a row winners of the East African Safari Rally. In 1991, second at the classic Le Mans 24-hour race. And in 2002, entry into Formula One. 50 years of Toyota Motorsport, so there are no signs of being tired of success going into the first race in Melbourne, starting into the new Formula One season. It's the sixth season for Toyota in Formula One. Um, it's obviously the 50th anniversary of Toyota in uh, competitive motorsport and it's the first year that uh, the Grand Prix will go to Japan at Fuji under Toyota's ownership. So for us a very challenging year and we continue to fight for our first victory. The 2007 Australian Grand Prix. It's a special anniversary too for Panasonic Toyota Racing Team's two drivers. They both began their Formula One careers here early in 1997. Then, precisely 21 years and 253 days old, Ralph Schumacher climbed into a Grand Prix cockpit for the first time in Melbourne. And with a fast, confident drive, achieved a podium finish in only his third race. That year in Australia, another hopeful rookie sat five places behind Schumacher on the starting grid. Time to think back then for Jano Trulli. My career started uh, uh, pretty young when I was 20, 22 years old and uh, at the Minardi team back in 1997. And uh, that was also good because uh, for the first time I drove uh, officially a Formula One uh, in a Grand Prix race in Australia. and. Uh, it was a great moment. Trulli was soon regarded on the circuit as an extremely fast and strong qualifier. Prost, Jordan and Renault were the next three stops for the likeable Italian. His first triumph he scored in Monaco in 2004. That same year he found his sporting home in the Toyota team. Jordan and BMW Williams were Ralph Schumacher's stops. The German has six victories to his name so far. After ten years, it's time not just to be winning races, but to be taking the title too. Of course, I didn't really have the opportunity to do that over recent years. Then I changed teams, and it was clear that again it would take a few years. But now we're moving slowly but surely in the right direction. I'm sure of that. Now we want to start winning races, and the rest will then follow. The new TF107 has started well in winter testing. Good reason, therefore, to be aiming for the front positions. Now the job is to fine-tune cornering grip and speed. My first impression is that uh, everybody works harder, 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 and I'm very proud of uh, my team. The new season is starting with revised regulations. No more engine development and rev speeds limited to 19,000 RPM. All teams will be supplied with identical Bridgestone tyre compounds at each Grand Prix. One hard and one soft. And note two, both have to be used during the race. When to put on which tyres? How bad is the tyre wear? How can they beat the opposition? The teams will all be seeking the right pit stop strategy. Despite all these changes, Toyota is putting faith in continuity, trusting in their own strengths. Oh, the Toyota way, it's uh, quite complex really. Um, I think it's the basis of Toyota's worldwide success and it's probably a philosophy uh, where you can actually analyse any problem by really going to the source, seeing what the reality is and actually encouraging I think the people who actually are doing the job to add value and then changing the process remorselessly. Joining the top group in Formula One, Toyota have set themselves ambitious targets. The Australian Grand Prix will be the first tough test of the new season.